Oh, also, uh, if anyone else would like to join in, uh, just hit. Hey, how you doing, Sexy Spirit TV? Yeah, if anyone else would like to join in, just uh, hit the request button. Boom, and I will key you in. Man, we've been having a having a great talk, bro. Having a real great talk. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Sorry, give it a second. Yeah. Ah. Ah, there we go. There we go. There hey, we man. go. Hey, man. man my, that shit gonna be kicking me off of my lives. I don't know why people... Damn, that shit be killing me, bro. Nigga, we be, look, we be bro, in the middle of the stride. Right. You know why? Because you don't push the envelope, nigga. That's why, bro. You <laughs> 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 I, 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 I show niggas massaging pussy with like a Bobby Hammond edit in the back. saying in the comments they was like ill don't nobody want to see that we're listening to bobby hemmett i was like excuse me <laughs> like hey man don't nobody want to see that that's nasty i said what <laughs> but no, i mean but either way man this one person popped up and was like oh. it, was, it, was, it was it was ridiculous man it's ridiculous and, and, and uh, the, the other one was, uh, you know, I, I should have known better. The I, I posted a uh, uh, Kanye West, uh, well, a Kanye West edit. Um, shout out to uh, shout out to Broadway man. You know what I'm saying? But that one also got me. Damn, bro, that's who? Cool. Damn. Wait, it was, it was just a, it was a Kanye West edit. He ain't say nothing messed up. You know what I'm saying? And Bobby Hammond was also talking about it. Talking about you know celebrities and you know and how you gotta also be wary. Oh, okay, was, man. Somebody, See, somebody was like, oh, "Get it out of here." Now was the second strike. This I, this, I, I this why you getting strikes. This why you getting strikes. Cause you out here trying to wake niggas up. I don't give a fuck. Uh, fuck all of you. Fuck everybody. I ain't waking nobody up. Man, like, you wake up when like, you want to. I want to go back to sleep. Sleep, fuck you talking about <laughs> you out here trying to well, you try you out here trying to inform motherfuckers and shit that's what's gonna get your strikes but i'm out here talking shit <laughs> i just be reposting videos bro I, I don't I you, I, you I, talking about the hot topics of the day <laughs> I, 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 man i just be reposting videos and whatnot bro. Uh, uh, nah, bro, i see you and you be talking about the you be talking to them dudes to be talking to you about the elites and stuff see i ain't talking about none of that see i ain't get flagged <laughs> real safe, nigga. Real safe. <laughs> like, bro, you take our baby. That shit be killing me. Like, I don't give a fuck about the, the like. If I was rich, I'd do the same thing. Like, fuck that shit. <laughs> and look, bro. For real, look. I, I I cannot stress enough how much I think women should be able to do whatever they want, however they want, whenever they want, and they're good, and they're strong, and they're beautiful, and they're powerful, and all those great good things you want to hear. I, I'll say all that shit. All right? I have no qualms about women are not bad things. Nothing about what I'm saying is women are bad things. I'm, I'm mostly speaking to men as shit ain't what it used to be. See the reason the reason women will get mad at that is because they'd like guys to think shit's just the way it used to be. Mm. Nothing's changed, everything's the same. I should get the same kind of benefits I've always gotten. You know, things should be the same. No, things should not be the same. Things are very different. Things are very different. We're becoming something we've never been before. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say whether or not. Because, look, I can say, you know, it's part of the grand scheme of things. I won't deny that. It's part of the grand scheme of things. You know, it's not it's not, like, it's not, not a bad thing. When I say, when I talk about it, I'm not saying it's a bad thing or it shouldn't happen. Mm. You know? What is, it, what is it they say? It's like we have, uh, we have free will, yet there's a grand design. And, you're, the, and you having the idea that you have free will is part of that design. Mm choice yeah 
Cause see, look, a lot of motherfuckers think they, they a lot of motherfuckers think they know what choice they gonna make, and then when it come time to it, they made a whole different choice. See, and that's the thing, though, right? Like all cultures, all uh, yeah, all cultures, and uh, you know, with uh, yeah, all cultures they have within their mythologies, they speak about that. They speak about the threads of fate mm-hmm. and all. Mm-hmm. So it's like even though you know. You, you have a choice to choose a certain road to go down, right? They they all still lead to wherever you're gonna end up. Like an undeniable path as well. Yeah. Right? Some of those yeah. don't come with a fork in the road. Some of those choices is it's like that. Mm. It's, it's, it's two terrible choices. You gotta make a choice still. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. The, the 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 lesser choose the lesser of two evils. It's still evil. I mean, yeah, you can choose lesser of two evils. It's still evil. Mm. That's only if you think you should have less evil. And but see, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, uh, it's like like voting, right? Like, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, you gotta choose between the lesser two evils, or you can just choose not to choose evil. And see, people don't really know how to not participate that's the problem you know it's like Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz you know her, she never left Kansas but the whole thing she doing is participating in the shit but she don't know how to not participate no more that's part of her problem she don't know how she continuing to agree to the shit she says she don't want mm. I wish I was home I wish I was home I wish I was home mm-hmm. don't know how to stop doing the thing you say you don't want to do mm. Mm. Especially if it's some shit that ain't gonna tickle and be filled with butterflies and make you feel like a spiritually ascended master. Now, don't nobody want to do that. Don't nobody want to do the shit that's just animalistic and dirty. You know, they want, people wanted to have that nice spiritual tinge to it, so it feel like you're etherical and you're floating. Mm. Like, mm. like, nah. Sometimes life is you do shit, and it's not because love and floating butterflies is because you know you're trying to build something you got a duty to some shit mm. like motherfuckers they're motherfuckers they used to be motherfuckers who when their father died no matter where they were in the world they had to go to bury their father that was their duty in their culture mm. like, like like how de- like you don't you do not let your father just die you don't you don't be there to bury him or like you have a son or you have a daughter you have no you have a son right and and you you before your son comes back from manhood rights, have him a little place to stay. So he ain't got to worry about that. He got fresh ground to start on because we want to set him up for success. Right. Like that was the whole point of the cultures and religions. It wasn't to oppress people. It was to set you up for success with the best they could offer in the face of chaos. Mm. In the face of the fact that there is, they, you can never tell what's going to come. You can never, just like you're saying, the strings of fate, you can never predict it. But the best that community could do in the face of all that chaos was set them up for success. Mm. And that, that's putting them together in a way in which they, they're compatible. And yes, it goes against the shit that they come with from the jungle, but that's the point. Mm. You're not living in the jungle. We, we may, we're building something more than that. We build it in the jungle, nigga. What do you mean what? we're not in the jungle? We're not in the jungle. Because oh, you thought um, nigga, you, you thought that t- you thought the trees was cold. Wait till I get to making this temple. Like we ain't still in the jungle. We in the jungle. <sighs> we we the, just the 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 stones we made the stones look pretty, but nigga, it's the jungle, nigga. Rules of the jungle still apply. No, they, <laughs> they don't. No, they don't. That like niggas get niggas get to 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 forget that the rules of the jungle exist. That's what civilization means. You get to be comfortable enough to forget that the rules of the jungle apply, and you can go out there and just be surprised. Oh my God, they killed someone! Why would you ever do that? That's crazy. It means it doesn't go anywhere. Nah. I know it doesn't go anywhere. I'm not saying. Look, I'm not saying it goes somewhere. What I'm saying is. When you build civilization, it's a res- it's it's an oasis, it's a respite from the uh, the unrelenting onslaught of chaos. See, think about it like this: building a nest for a baby, right? Birds do it, women do it for their children. You build a nest for a baby, not because it can withstand chaos, but because 
it's it's an oasis from it. It gives you a little bit. It's not going to undo chaos in the world. That's not what a nest does, but it gives you the feeling that it does that. That's what civilization does. It gives you enough comfort to where you can stop and start to think and not just survive. See, people like to break things down all the way to survival. No, survival isn't thriving. We were we had been thriving for hundreds of thousands of years, not just surviving. People want to settle for survival, and that's bullshit. You're trying to tell yourself you're comfortable in an uncomfortable position because it's the thing to do now. Like, fuck that shit. We used to th thrive. Now we're sitting here so drunk on surviving, we don't know nothing different, so we think that's all it is. No. We used to thrive. No, everybody didn't get to do everything they wanted to do whenever they wanted to do. But we, we thrived. We didn't just submit to the order the order that chaos laid down yes chaos has built some wonderful a wonderful foundation like the the great mother tiamat she's she's you know she's destroyed for, for the for the the creation and the, and, the, and the future growth of her children you know it, it's it's the old has to go away the old has to die i'm not gonna say the old isn't gonna die some way but we we, we reject the things we used to do as if they're oppressive and it's not that they were oppressive it was a method it was a method to take what we are we've been doing it for hundreds of thousands of years take what we are and make it work make it compatible it's not just of course the jungle never goes away of course chaos never goes away i would never suggest that fuck how fast light is no matter how fast light is not only is darkness already there it's been waiting you don't get rid of the darkness you don't get rid of chaos i won't suggest that you do but civilization gives you a nest and I'll be damned if a kid don't need a nest for proper development. And I'll be damned if a woman don't feel inclined to make a nest for a kid. It's it's natural to want to make that nest. And it has a necessity. It's, and But it's beyond just chaos. It's beyond just whatever happens. It's I know anything can happen, but I'm going to try to make this happen. So I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying there's more on it. I, that's, I, that's it. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not saying, I'm not saying bitches ain't shit. Even though I probably agree with that shit sometimes. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying there's a method to the madness. We've been doing it for the forever. And and like you say, it, it has a natural root. It's in the animalistic shit, bro. It's in there. We have natural roots in this stuff. And it, it can't be as complicated as we've made it to be. Because, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, right, you know, just going back to it for those that, you know, uh, weren't here earlier. Because, you know, people get confused when they look at animals and they say, oh, animals are beneath us. Animals, uh, all they, they're only focused on survival. They don't care about anything. They do anything yet. They don't study animals. They don't study the thriving mm -hmm. in animals. Animals and, um, you know, they, there's some animals that have processes where, you know, they, they, they live a, a, a poly polygamous, polyamorous lifestyle or they live a lifestyle where they fuck once and never see each other again. Or they have, they have like, the, life. Or, or like turtles, they fucking hatch turtles and then, and then, and then the turtles, they, they never, they never <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And then you also have animals, um, like, uh, like, uh, fuck it. Swan. So, like, uh, oh. like the, swans made for life. Swans made for life. The honey badgers. Very family oriented, one <laughs> one mate lifestyle and stuff like that. You know, um, you know. We also even spoke about how crows. Crows have this thing where you know they 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 have this innate uh, worldwide global communication with each other, where they can identify and op. They can use tools and all that fly shit. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. So 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 within it, it also shows how like even within chaos in itself, there is an order. And also, there's an order, yeah. Fine with chaos, but to see the order, the order that chaos has isn't the order that substantiates that nest, because chaos will come along and kick that nest over. Chaos will do everything. If you leave chaos to its own devices, it will rot that nest away. It's chaos is or it's chaos is order to destroy order. Okay, so I mean, I get it. I'm not gonna. I'm a metaphysician. I'm not gonna deny you that. Order is chaos unrecognized, chaos is order unrecognized. I won't deny you that. 
what, what, what I'm saying is that the two have to eat. They have to live together, and so we can't just we can't just devolve ourselves to base chaos, because then we're not, nothing. And you know, it goes right back to what you were saying, right? Um, in order for chaos, in order to exist with one another, right? It takes also the person having the will to work on it, right? Just like we were talking about the nest. Right? You got a duty to do it. Yeah. That bird got to keep that shit up. But also, as I mentioned, in a way, chaos happens, right? So, the, you know, you, there's a preparation, right? Where chaos is a, is a fact of life, but, you know, you find order in it also. Yeah. 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 You, or you have to be the one that says, I want order to happen. Like, I, I like the point that obligation of like burying your father you know what i'm saying like uh, in, in in this quote-unquote society and whatnot you know that you know people make the excuse even though they have like a, a longing and desire and it's like i have to right they, they will fool themselves into thinking that they have a choice to say i don't have to do that shit. that's the old ways that you know i i, I need to focus on something else you know so yeah I mean, I think I think some people will have that same that same um, uh, inner conflict, you know, when it comes to just being a hoe. Being a hoe. You know, what I mean, I know th- I know the old ways was like I should save myself for for, for when it matters, but you know, he's cute. Mm. So hey, I me mean, hey shit, everybody's doing it. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's doing it. Shits shits. The streets are all the way fucked up. Shit is not what it used to be. And dudes cannot move like they used to. That's that's my, my biggest point. Mm-hmm. Not saying what women shouldn't do, what women could do, should do. A little, not, uh, not, have nothing to say about them. Stunning, beautiful, brave. Men got to do something different. Because mm-hmm. if, if, if these are the new rules, because because they, they've been playing by the new rules for a while now. You know, we just haven't been put on game. But if these are the new rules, shit got to change. You got to do something different. Mm-hmm. And so... Look, I'm not telling you not to love a hoe, because I think that's what the the, the, the the idea is that's behind me me rejecting the idea is that, is that I'm saying don't love a hoe. I'm not telling you not to love nobody. Love who the fuck you want to. Love how you want to. Motherfuckers don't even know what the fuck love is. Let's just, motherfuckers just be feeling some kind of way and then say it's love to justify whatever the fuck they want to do. Go ahead, do what you want to do. What I'm saying is marriage is business. Family is business. Lineage, legacy is business. And if a motherfucker is I'm never yours, it's just your turn That's a bad business investment I'm not saying it's impossible Because nothing's impossible But what I'm saying is it's improbable Not impossible Improbable Because look The sky's not always blue Sometimes it's a little purple, a little orange You know, sometimes there's no color at all most of the time, it's blue. blue. As a matter of fact, so overwhelmingly so that if I were to say the sky is blue, those motherfuckers would agree with me. But although it's not blue all the time, and it can be all kind of other colors, right? That, I get the full argument there. I didn't. I didn't want to just say the sky is blue. I had to make sure I I gave it everything. How about this? <laughs> the sky. Most people are awake. I'm awake right now. The sky, the sky over me isn't blue, but the sky somewhere is blue. So what is the sky now? Midnight blue. Let's see. Oh, shit. That was funny. 
six. Okay, so the sky is mainly the sky is more mainly blue. Four, four the time is blue, but forty yeah. percent of the other time is something else. Nah, I don't know about forty percent. That's with sixty percent, nigga. It's not. You're not passing no test for sixty percent. Try again. That's a D. That's a D. Isn't that a D? I thought a fifty was an L. Nah, bro. I thought fifty was an L. Nah, nah, no, no. Sixty is an F. Sixty is an F. Sixty-five. Damn. Sixty-five is a D. Yeah, sixty. It's okay. Sixty-five is a D minus. Damn. And like the biggest thing about that, I think is that's funny about that whole uh, the whole idea. That's part of the reason I said the sky is blue one, is right. because it um the the sky being blue is an appearance, right. like it's not even a thing. Right. In the thing. I, I, mean, I know all color, I know all perception of color is an appearance. I give you that, yes, but it's 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 illusionary. The blueness of the sky is illusionary. I think that like it like the the sky is blue for the same reason that people with blue eyes their eyes are blue. So, hold on. so we can accept the illusion. We we can accept that the sky being blue is an illusion, right? Mm -hmm. We can't accept the pers the illusion of the perception of what a hoe is. Come on. Oh no, we can, we can, but we won't. Oh man! And do you know why? We can, but we won't. We can, but we won't. Do you know why we won't? Do you know why we won't? <laughs> dick and a half, half bro. A dick and a half. Because hey, it, I, look, 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 hold on, hold on, bro. Hold the same on, bro. thing. The same thing that has us make that inclination has us make that uh, the same other inclination. That's what I'm saying. It's the same machinery that's having us make that oh. thought. Right, hold on. But one thing, one thing I also thought about too, right? You have people that are a product of niggas. What? Who had a dick in the Come on, brother. You have people Wait, that have children of niggas that have had a dick in the hand. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. But and I want you to I want you to you, bro, I, it's a Come on, brother. I will not disagree. I agree with you 100 but I'm, I'm gonna tell you this i'm gonna tell you this i'm gonna tell you this because <laughs> you're right you're right whole legacy but i'm gonna i'm gonna say this i'm gonna say this to that because you're right but this is what i'm gonna say okay i want you to take that same argument and go sell a nigga to a woman to marry you you come out with that like you selling a car hey these are all the good features i want you to list that as one of the features he put dick in his throat you see how many offers you get Oh no! Do you look? Maybe not his throat. Tell her, tell her that she chewed his ass up. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Damn. It's not. Uh, not but a, you, but you, you know what I'm saying though. Not it's the, not gonna sell. Not the Janet Jackson clip. God damn. <laughs> oh, so you doing the bending? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh. First one, man. Look, the same thing that has us do that is the same thing that looking at a hole, bro. I'm, yeah. I'm not saying it's bad people; it's just a bad investment. It's still married to them, just like niggas yeah. are still married. That's what I'm saying. I understand, but it ain't stopped nothing. Okay, but look, if you ask that person, would you? Bad. And it's and, and, and it's uh and people could be embarrassed, but you can't stop dick pussy situations. Yeah, you can't. Oh, I won't right. deny. That's sex again, bro. I'm talking about marriage. See, look, just because motherfuckers are doing it, don't mean I suggest it. There's niggas right now who's in sexless marriages. I wouldn't suggest it. There's motherfuckers right now who's who who's having weird kind of sex, you know, with all kind of different people and things. I wouldn't suggest it once again, but what, people are doing it. What makes it weird? What's the what's, what's oh, oh my bad, my bad. No, my, don't open that can of words. I, <laughs> they gonna say it's weird. I don't. I don't need another. Uh, I don't need another video. Well, let, let's just assume that weird exists. Let, we don't even have to go there. Let's just assume it exists. <laughs>
don't make Alyssa normal, man. Come on. <laughs> we all do some shit or say, uh, we all do some shit that's weird to somebody. Yes, but some people do weird things consistently. Um, for others, I mean, you have a whole cuckold culture. Bruh, bruh, it's ridiculous and I do not approve and of it. It's, it's a lot more than you would think. I, I will prove no. it. I will prove it. I'll you don't have to prove it. I believe you. Men. What percentage of men watch pornography that has other men in it? Right? And I'm not, I'm not saying like some gay shit. I mean like a woman. That's not the same as cuckolding, bro. As cuckolding. I mean, I mean, you mean no, that make your point. But I don't think that's the thing. Why? I tell you why. Yeah, make your point. I'll tell you why it's cuckolding. You watching a nigga fuck the girl you want. That's a cuckold, nigga. That's a cuckold. No. No. Yes, no. 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 Because let me tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. No. Right now. You right now. no. The girl. Bro, you jacking with? That's a cuckold. No. No, you no. You're watching some other man's Ooh. member. You Look, if, it, if it's your wife, watching man fuck the girl you want. That's good. No, we no, because it's not. It's, that shit is normal. Because if, because look, I'm not talking. saying this shit is really? it's normal. Well, hold on, hold on, wait a second. It, no, there's a little. Hold on, because I'm, I'm gonna take it back to animals too. I'm gonna take it back to animals. Cause I seen this shit. I seen this shit on a uh, fucking uh, nat nature documentary, bro. It was a monkey, right. right? This monkey. He seen the bitch that he wanted. The monkey bitch he wanted go off with another one, and all he could right. do is watch. So he was sitting there frustrated. He took his ass in the bushes and started yanking that thing. And he a couple. So if so first of all, first of all, first of all, no, see that. That's not cuckoldry. That's not cuckoldry. 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 No, 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 no. no. It's not. It's not just a woman you want. It's your woman. See, that's when it's cuckoldry. It's when it's your woman. See, if I'm just watching some bitch get fucked, who I would like to fuck, don't mean I'm gonna get to it. Good job. Good job. That's that. If it's my woman in the video, and I'm like, good job, baby. That's cuckolding. That's cuckolding. <laughs> <laughs> like baby, you need me. You need me to hold your leg up. You got it, sweetie. I know I might get tired. He hitting it. He hitting it good. Y'all need some water. All right, all right. Hold, hold, hold. What would you say? Hold, hold, hold. Ooh. So what you? So, so what you say? <laughs> exactly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You saying that's at the house? Pretending the whole hold 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 the lady in the video's era. <laughs> I, 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 I hear you, man. But have you I, seen? You, well, have you seen the? Have you seen the cuckold simulator? That you want to have? That's cuckoldry. No, that's Sorry. not cuckoldry. That's cuckoldry. envy. I'll give you envy, but it's not cuckoldry. <laughs> It's cuckoldry when it's your woman. Bruh, have you seen the cuck simulator? No, it's not. No. Just my imagination can head ass. Just my imagination head ass. That is not your woman. These niggas really think that these girls are theirs. So so you telling me. So you telling me. You telling me because I think she mine. Because I think she mine, she mine. So when I seen Justin Timberlake touch Janet Jackson titty, that was cuckoldry. You was you was upset. So it was you, cuckold you. When I you seen it, it was, it was cuckold you. That what you said. That what you said. No, no, I do not agree. No, because just because I was upset does not make that cuckold you. Can't touch her like that. I know. I know, brother. I know. Because it was aggressive, not because he touched it. Because it was aggressive. He's like, no, be kind. Like, no, no be bro. Take it's off. only if it's your woman. It's only if it's your I know, bro. I know, bro. You was have you, have you seen the cuckold simulator RPG? <laughs> <laughs> See, I, bro. <laughs> I'm not in the cuckold group chats. Bro, this shit <laughs> it is real out here. I'm telling you, they have a whole simulator. You know how they got like airplane simulators and, and city building simulators? My nigga, there's literally a cuckold simulator. Like, you got, you go in. And you get a job to make sure Tyrone can afford his bail to keep fucking your wife. <laughs> My friend, this shit is hilarious. All right, and all right, how about that, right? Because, all right, where do you think that comes from, right? Like, what? of 
Oh, and uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, another man, man pleasure, another man pleasure your woman, or being turned on knowing that other men have pleasured your woman. Wait, Jay, where does that come from? Yeah. <clears throat> God, if I know. Mm. In, in terms of the in terms of the deriving pleasure from it part. Mm. Oh God! If I know, I, I get the idea of somebody fucking your bitch. Like that happens. Mm. That's out there. That's real shit. But you enjoying it? I don't know where that come from. I'm not telling you that somebody's wrong for it, but you enjoying it? I don't know how that works. Like I be saying, bro. Like this why I don't. This why I don't diss gay dudes. Like any nigga that can take a dick in the ass with a smile on his face got a kind of strength I don't have. Like some niggas just got shit I don't got. So some nigga can sit here and watch his woman get the pipe. And he'd be happy with it. Mm. Like I don't, I don't understand it, but I get it's the thing. And I'm not gonna tell him that he couldn't do it because I'm gonna do what the fuck I want to do. Mm. Okay. But I tell you yeah. right now, I don't understand it at all. But you know, this reminds me of right. This reminds me of um, a Patrice O'Neill quote. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, it has to come a time like you. You shake away the. That uh, attachment that you might have to your broad, if you picture her with multiple dudes, right? And that will shake away whatever pain you may in, in happen or may occur if you do catch her with one or two. Mm -hmm. That eliminate mm -hmm. and that eliminates the uh, the the fear, the anticipation, the anxiety. Yeah. yeah. You got to you got to live it out in your head one time. See, I did I do it one good time, one good time at least. You know, I've had a couple scenarios in my head. You just play them out. You got to play them out and play it all the way to the end. You know, you know, you just come home, you've been out, you've been out doing your thing, you know, have you got off early a little work, you know, picked up a little extra, you know, some chicken from Publix, you know, you know she likes chicken from Publix, get some chicken from Publix, you know, gonna surprise her with it, got a little chicken from Publix, maybe pick up some flowers, because the flowers right next to it, right, flowers, chicken, early off of work, heading home, bruh, I'm happy, I'm about to see my woman, maybe get a little butt, uh, walk <laughs> in the door, you know, you know, make it quiet, sneak in there, oh, what's she doing in there, she must have a TV up, open the door, her legs are up, not the TV. You got you got to be able to see it, and you got to be able to see it. Not to say that's what she's gonna do, but you can't be running from it in your mind. Mm. That's what I, I mean, because it's gonna naturally be there, mm. especially in this atmosphere. So you you can't be running from it in your mind. You gotta have seen it in your mind to where if you ever saw it in life, it'd be like, okay, there we go. Like if you, like like if you picture the most the worst, and and and, and this, this goes back to what we're talking about. It's not that you want it not to work, right? It's not that you're expecting yeah. it to work, but you're preparing just in case, just in case. Uh -huh. Will I be able to move on, or will I relive seeing her legs in the air over and over and over? That's what, that's that's the reason why I was saying I was like you know, with marriage it's not it you know, it, it has this. It, it it may or may not be, you know what I'm saying. Just, the way people, just, people do it these days is all kind of different shit well, that happens. Just like when it comes to that dude, right? The the just like when it comes to the dude and the lady, and, uh, the 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 older dude and the older woman, you know, and you know she told him about what happened one time, and they were eighty, and it fucked them up so bad. He's like, I, I I can't be with you no more, right? It wasn't mm -hmm. something he could move past or walk past. Hmm. So, so is your issue with that particular scenario the fact that he ended it at all, or is it that he ended it because of sex? Well, it's the same way of like I'm, I'm looking at it like uh, same way a woman like would end some shit just because a nigga decided to step out or have a mm -hmm. relationship or another affair or yeah, have we don't sex usually, with usually criticize if, that if. If there's something, if this is a marriage and it's supposed it's supposed to be built on unconditional love, I know you mentioned you don't agree with unconditional love. I agree with love with conditions. If it's something that's supposed to be built bigger than that, and if people trivialize sex as if it's nothing, right? Then, I mean, if the, if you, you know, well, no, go ahead, continue. I don't want to break your thought. Excuse me, I'm sorry. You know, then if we've been through all these other things if all this other shit has occurred right how can it be broken down 
with just an event, right? Or be broken down by a consensual action between two people. How can because okay so so what you what you what you're suggesting is then that what marriage is is more than just two people coming together. There's 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 well, a there's I, a larger agreement there. Hold on, I, but even with that, I said when a man and woman come together, that's marriage. Mm-hmm. But but the thing you're insinuating though is larger than that. And once again, it could happen. But no, 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 I, no, I'm not. I'm not saying it couldn't happen. I'm not saying you're suggesting that it couldn't happen. I'm saying, I'm saying that you're, you're, you're in, you're in, you're invoking a, 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 a different, a different agreement than just we're both here together. It's that there's some type of a duty or responsibility. That's what I'm saying. Okay. That, that's what I mean. Like that, that like, I would agree with you that that is there. That's why I say that. Man, Marriage is so much more than sex, and I don't trivialize sex. I'm not saying sex is just, you know, because I can I can trivialize sex down to the fact where you just, you know, you stick your dick in a girl and wiggle around. You know, I made I made it super trivial, right? <laughs> super trivial. You know, but, but that's not that's not how I I, I, I literally always picture sex. Like it, it, there's there's more to it, of course. You know, but it's it's I, I think it, it it's about that agreement, and because we don't have. The, the cultures and religions the way we did to tell us what the agreement is everybody has all these unspoken rules you know some people are trying to use old order agreements some people are trying to use new things trying to mix them up and nobody really knows where to go with it you know so you get these you get these weird outcomes I'm not I'm not saying whether or not it's right or wrong whether or not it should or shouldn't be I just know Oh, the old the old shit ain't what the way niggas is doing it no more and if you're trying to do the old shit you gonna fail mm. my question is all right like let's let's explore that right do you yeah. do you end your connection with someone because they also have a connection with someone else I don't think you end your connection because they have a connection with somebody else I think you end your connection because they 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 disregarded your contract fair that's you're, you're free to make connections with everybody. See, like, and, and this is something that, that creeps into the poly shit that I be hearing people talk about is that they try to conflate, you know, I want to have sex with somebody to, well, this is love. It's a connection. You know, you can't limit connections. You can have connections with all kinds of people without fucking them. You can have all kinds of connections with people without fucking them. Mm. All right. So, you know, trying to trying to make. And I think I think trying to say sex is as a connection trivializes mm-hmm. it because it's a lot more than a connection. Yeah, there's a connection there. Okay, there's a connect, but that connection can be so easily disregarded. Mm-hmm. You know, like you have to invest in that connection for it to mean something. Well, it's not just a connection; it's an exchange. Sex, what do they call it? sacred energy exchange? With a- well, it's an exchange. <clears throat> but you mean you exchange? You exchange frivolously all the time. Mm-hmm. Buy that three five a weed. You go get a candy bar at the grocery store. We exchange frivolously all the time. You know, it's, it's that's, that's what I mean. Like, it's <clears throat> everything has sex. Crystals have sex. Plants have sex. Planets have sex. Stars. All this shit has sex in one form or another. It has sex. So I'm not I'm not shunning sex. Make make sexual connections. A marriage, especially if part of that marriage is the contract where we ain't fucking other people, mm. is that that's 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 what it is. It's not that you don't feel sexually connected to someone else, you don't feel urges, of course you will. Of course you will. I won't deny anybody that. Look, I, I'm married to I'm married to my wife right now. A dude can come by with all the muscles, shirt off, oiled up, and she can be like, Ooh, he look good. I'm not gonna uh, okay. I, mm. I don't want a woman that don't like men. Of course, she's gonna be attracted to other men in her life. But we're married, so we're not we're not doing that. So it, mm. it's not a it's not a <clears throat> it, it's not a I'm denying what we are and what we got. I'm embracing it, but you have to build on top of it, mm. you know. And so it's, it's uh, once again, people can do whatever you want to do. It, there's there's a difference between a good investment and a bad investment. I'm not gonna say there's there's good women and there's bad women. I don't I don't like that one. Mm. But I will say there's a good investment and a bad investment. Mm. 
So you love who you want, you connect to who you want to, you soul tie, ethereal, astral hug, however you want to. That's that's some that's completely different from business investment. Cause that's that's what I that's what I say when I when I, cause because look, I'm sitting here and I'm telling you, guys have to do something different about marriage, and I'm married, so I'm I, I don't do I don't do the paper contract stuff. I'm not I'm well not not with the state anyway. I did my own stuff, but <clears throat> that the, the vision, the idea, the plan of what the fuck it is I'm doing, it's it can't be built built on the old shit. So I'm not just sitting here out the side of my neck saying, man, got to do something different, and I'm not doing nothing different. I'll be damned. I am. I'm, I'm I, but I have to build it from scratch. It's not something there's a roadmap for. Mm-hmm. And I can't use the old model of how things are supposed to be appropriate. I got to use what's going to work for me in terms of what I'm building. And so everybody's free to do whatever you want to do. But if you are my team and we build in this, this is how we're doing. It. Mm-hmm. And I'm not oh, I'm not against listening to somebody else say something else. That's fine. You can you know, we can have discussions about it for days. You know, but it's not a, it's not an issue of us getting us on us on the same page. It's getting on my page because we're built. I'm building this. Mm. Like you can go and do something else, but if you're gonna do it on this team, this is what we're doing. I like that. I like that. Because like I can't guarantee. You know, because it used to be back in the day. You know, if if somebody did some egregious thing like left a marriage, you got the shame of your whole community. That you got to deal with. You don't just get to walk away and everybody say, "Go, girl, good for you." You got the shame of your whole lineage. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Mm. So now, now I don't got that. Matter of fact, I got look well, good, good, good job, girl. You go get them. So mm. I got to build for me. And it's not that I, I, I don't care because I most certainly care about my wife. I most certainly want her in my life. I'm most certainly planning for her to stay in my life. Mm. So that's how I set it up. And so if that's how I, I set it up. That's how I'm going to roll with it. It's not going to be a my turn for now. It's if either it's my turn consistently forever, or we're not playing this because it, it, like it's not because something's wrong with you. Is that the, based on what I'm building? That's not conducive. Hmm. Maybe someone else will build with that thing where you can come in and out the house. You know, when mommy say you you need to be outside or inside. Don't come inside of my house like it's a barn. You know, this is my life. This is my fucking life. Don't come in and out like it's a barn. If, if you want to, if you want to just be for fucking, that's one thing. Then you can come in and out because you're just for fucking. But if you end my, my life, you're gonna be in my life, and that comes with some shit. It comes with me doing some shit too. So it's, I mean, it's, 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 it's an exchange once again. It's an exchange, and so right now you got to pick your exchange. I'm not telling somebody they can't do whatever they want to do. If there are women out there who want to go to the club and and shake their Tootsie Roll in the latest Jizzy J soundtrack, whatever the fuck, go ahead, do it. Red light challenge on your reels, go ahead, do it, sweetie. I'm not going to tell you you can't do it. But if you want a motherfucker that's trying to build something, you look like sand. You look like sand. If you're a motherfucker who's got, you come with value and you couldn't have the wherewithal to, to take care of it, you look like, like a bad investment. It's not that you're a bad person. It's not that your spirit is 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 now defiled and we can't soul tie. It's not that we don't have a connection. It's not that we can't have share mutual interests. It's that in ter- terms of being part of the thing I'm building, you're a bad investment. I mean, you interview a motherfucker for a job. Yeah, man. Well, uh, I, I usually go to a job. I stay there for a week. I steal. You know, I'm good, though. I mean, every, you, you can never really stop anybody from doing it. So, you know, I, I just do it. That's a bad. You're not going to hire that person. Yeah, you can't stop people from doing it. And yeah, you never know. But you're not going to hire that person. And it's not because they, they're they're now the outcast and we have to genocide them and they don't deserve rights. Like, it's none of that. It's That's a bad investment. That's a bad, bad investment. Just like a woman who who sees a man who toots his butt up and takes takes dick. That's a bad investment in her future, and she knows it, and no one denies it. We should be able to have the space to point out where there's a bad investment in men's future. Otherwise, men are going to get terrible outcomes. Because we, we were so worried about how often trans people kill each other, kill themselves. Men kill themselves at a higher rate than anybody. And if you got men turning into women, that's just, look, if a dude cuts his dick off and says he's a woman, that's still a dude to me. 
And so he kills himself. That's still men killing themselves. I mean, Bruh, when it's, chill out. When it's, when it's, Something's when it's, going on with men right now. Shit, like, motherfuckers ain't looking out for men. Like, I get women don't have it easy, but we got shit going on, bro. Look, when the homies, the skin and his organs disappear and it's just bones, it's still a, it's a dude, bro. Yeah, you can, bro, you can even tell, you can tell gender from skeletal structure. Skeletal structure. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> I don't like even. I don't care how much you mutilate your penis, bro. You're still a dude. You're just a dude with a mutilated penis. They used to call them eunuchs. Mm. Yo, I mean, how how about that? Like the fact that, like, you know, what they're using now on like children, right? Is the same thing that they use on child abusers. Yeah, it's chemical castration. They, yeah. They, they're, they're using chemical castration medication. It's but see, this is this is what happens. This is what happens when we don't draw lines. This is what happens when nothing really means anything, and everything can happen, and nothing can really happen, and we don't actually say anything. Then anything goes. Mm. And so there's never a place where you draw the line. And so we can sit here and we can say, "Dang, that's crazy that you do that to kids." But what you mean is crazy. Where do we draw the line? I thought we stopped drawing lines a long time ago because everything is everything and everybody's here for this and we come in and we go out and it's it's this and it's and you know it's nothing's really stable. And because we don't agree to stability, we don't agree to have to, to take on the responsibility to uphold anything. Nothing stands. And so not anything can go. Anything is anything is okay. Motherfuckers can identify as a three year old. He can be 50 years old. He can identify as a three-year-old. And if I decide to say, hey, uh, no, we're not going to watch you at my daycare, your business could be in jeopardy. <laughs> Bruh, like, like we, 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 uh, we, we just getting out of the Jimmy John stuff. We've owned the Jimmy John's for a few years. It's a business, a uh, uh, food business. Uh, it's in Atlanta. So there's trans people. <clears throat> the trans people work in the business, right? I is business. I don't say shit about my my ideas about I'm not, I don't want to hear nothing about it. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna say your name, and that's it. Because if I were to say something that's offensive to them, and they have a lawsuit, that's fucked up. That's fucked us up. Like I could just say your name wrong, and my business is fucked up. Like a nigga ain't never got no shit like that. We still have to. We still have to sit here and ask them to to make lynching illegal. But I can call a white man in a wig the wrong name. And lose my business. Bus stop. Bus stop. Let's stop. You want to tell me about trans anything? With less than one percent of people, you got to be kidding me. Uh uh. But motherfuckers will give will give up all that history to be inclusive of one percent of the people. Like a motherfucker come to you and say, "I want to cut my dick off." You're supposed to say you're sick. If I say I want to cut my arm off bro you sick i want to cut my leg off bro you sick i want to cut my ear off bro you sick or 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 at least hey man let's let's think about this one right <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> can we pause hold, hold on can, can we can, can we talk about this just <laughs> let's is, 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 is it the inconvenience of having to stand up and use the bathroom? <laughs> have a seat. Just sit down. Do, do we need a seat at the <laughs> urinal? <laughs> just take it easy. <laughs> like, bro, look, some niggas just built like that. They got to sit down to pee. No. <laughs> oh, I think, um, I we're going to get get on this path, but it is. So, but the thing is now they're also having this set up where they're putting urinals in women's bathrooms too. So, so at first right, them to wash their hands. Yeah, bro. Listen, bro. They I, they are taking the Shiva or Mafdi shit a little too yeah, serious. They are they killing it, bro. Like I said, urine. <sighs> In the women's stalls, you know what I'm saying? They probably so we gonna decorate them and make them look nice and shit. That's gonna be the cleanest urinal you ever seen in life, bro. It's gonna have uh, bows on it and stuff. They gonna <laughs> use it. They gonna give you five dollars to take out. 
Hey, but, oh, oh, thanks for you. Here's five dollars, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Go to somebody else. Be like, boy, boy, that that girl, oh. that that show is amazing. Oh, I got five dollars. I won't go too. I got five dollars. Let me go use the the urine on the woman's bathroom. Right. I'ma say I'ma save my five dollars and just say I'm gender fluid and for five minutes I'ma be a woman. But look, but look, hold on, not only that. No, no, I said they wanna give you five dollars when you use the bathroom. It's oh, they give it to you. Okay, never mind. Okay, hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. I'll be, I'll be in there. I'll tuck it back for a second. Let me get that five dollars real quick. <laughs> another, another way that I'm seeing it too is like even. The the affirmation, like even when niggas is joking and they just trying to get some benefits like of women and stuff like that, the affirmation of a man saying I'm a woman now, even if he's just playing around, that also could be the spell. What you mean? Like, think about it, right? If if every if all these dudes is getting rewarded, right? I mean, not yes. just not, yes, I know what you mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, they get rewarded for affirming. That they're no longer men, yeah. you know, because of respect to being a too hard, right? That affirmation in a way is still is a spell. Yeah. But starting to think maybe they're just collecting these spells. Maybe they're just, just collecting it's, right? Yeah, bro. It's, it's it's an agenda to it. Like, look, a nigga, a black black man ain't shit unless he cut his. If he cut his dick off now, he matters. If you cut your dick off and give up your masculinity, you matter now. If you don't, then you're an oppressive, abusive, inherently toxic person. Mm. Fuck these me. Fuck these people, bro. Fuck these people. You ain't you, you you can't even you can't even outlaw lynching. But I call this motherfucker the wrong name and my shit done. Mm. Nah, bro. Like they cut like who else do they lynch and cut their dick off? You gotta be kidding me. Male privilege for a black man? Get the fuck out of here! I don't. I don't never walk into a room full of white men and they like, "Hey, bro, what's going?" Like, <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here! But see, you know what this this shit reminds me of too, right? Like, remember there was a time when they used to, when they used to like give women forced hysterectomies, right? They used to give women forced hysterectomies if they had multiple children, if they, um, if they. If, or, or, or even for having like a miscarriage, like my grandmother, my grandma was, my grandma was, yeah, she had, right? And then it was a miscarriage in one of them, so they just took a womb out, right? Mm. So mm. with that, what, but the thing is, that shit didn't go nowhere, right? Mm -hmm. But today, now you have women begging to have their wombs removed, bruh. Like, and, and, yeah. like, just, just dr playing dress up and like, you know, acting the yeah. Put, put the, that, that's not good enough anymore. Now it's like, I don't want no, no possibilities of nothing. No double man. responsibility. No accountability. Like, like things that are irreversible. Like something, once again, you know, people trivialize when it comes to sex. is yeah. irreversible now. Right? Yeah. So just like you have men now who, once again, bro, they just are signing up. For the genital mutilation, signing up to be chemically castrated, right? Just like criminals were, right? And so, are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so you know, it's so this is why, like, you no, know, this is why, like, I always go back to even sex in itself is a responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Sex in itself is also still important and essential. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to our continuation, because like, what did they do with all the wombs? Um, excuse me, all those, uh, all those uteruses and shit like that. That shit's st still sitting somewhere, waiting to be put in something that it's not supposed to be in. Some kind of experience, something. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, there's a hell of a market for shit like that, man. There's a hell of a market for it. Mm. And, and the thing is, when Bobby was was talking about like cloning and shit like that, we didn't know to like. Like, he didn't say this, but like, when you really look back at it, like, this is a part of that shit. This is the extent of that shit. Like, human trafficking, organ harvesting and shit like that. Motherfuckers Ooh. are being missing. He he talked about that, especially when it came to Atlanta. Motherfuckers just going missing. And then what happened to all those essential organs, right? And then out of nowhere, there's all these extra organs, all these extra wounds, 
all these extra penises and testes. People who got money, yeah. Like now, yeah. It's, like you ain't you ain't gotta pay for it, but but it's even a big market when it comes to what is it called? Like the medication, being mm-hmm. being being a part of that process, like a lifetime of that medication, you didn't made the pharmaceutical companies at least one point three million dollars. Yeah. yeah, it's a system, dude. It's it's designed to be that way. It's, it's colonization. Like, see, my, like, I really don't think people grasp the fact that we are still in colonization. Yeah. Like, it didn't end. Like, there was no point where we said, okay, colonization is over. You know, we're giving everything back. We're starting over. We're, 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 really, we're really sorry for this. Um, we're going to try and make amends. Like, none of that shit ever happened. Like, okay, like, you know what uh, the Jews, right, in the Holocaust? Right. The Jews in the Holocaust got not only the symbol of Hitler, but they got the resolution that Hitler was taken care of and that everybody would hate Nazis forever, right? The the Holocaust of African people on this planet has never stopped. It's never stopped. So not only do we not have a symbol, not only do we not get a resolution, and not only do we not get anybody trying to amend anything, but it's never stopped. And we've grown comfortable in it we've grown comfortable in it Stockholm syndrome that's why you you, uh, you loved your kidnapper right <laughs> nigga swear white folks got cold to ice boy nigga swear white folks got cold to ice I'm telling you <laughs> ain't nobody going nowhere man it's supposed to be like this it's a giant penal colony I right, look here look this is some real I, I try to emphasize how deeply people's political movements are intertwined with the state. Like people think they've gone out and they've marched and they've, they've, they've shouted for something and it's been given to them now because they've gotten recognition. No, it's because the state was already setting up for that. Okay. Here's, here's the first example. <clears throat> um, body cam, body cams on cameras, um, body cams on cops. What do you mean? My bad. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let you get to the example, but I think that was the funniest shit that niggas ever asked for was body cams, because now it doesn't stop anything. Now it now it just looks like a first person shooter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it looks like a video game. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. We need body cams for cops. Okay, cool. So we could we could <laughs> we could show you how we did it. Somebody should overlay like a health bar and an ammo an ammo meter. <laughs> exactly, bro. That shit would be so hilarious. It's so. Oh my god. It, it, it's, it's, it is hilarious, bro. No, okay. Here, look, look, listen, listen, listen. People's political movements in the state. Okay. Um, uh, the first one: women's suffrage. Women's suffrage, okay? Uh, Before women's suffrage, before the independence of women uh, as their own independent financial being, they were always included a part of their husband's finances, part of their husband's estate. Okay, so there was no 